Hello students, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, for coordinate geometry, now in this video we are going to discuss some questions from past papers. In my previous video we did some uh, topics, explanations. So now let's start. Uh, this is a question from 2016. A line joins the points A and B. Calculate the length of A and B. So this is your x1, y1. This is your x2 and y2, right? So we know that distance formula is equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, right? So now we are going to substitute the values that is 4 minus 2 that will eventually become minus into minus plus 2 square plus it's y2 minus y1 so 13 plus 5 whole square under the root right that is the distance so distance is equal to it is 6 square plus 18 square under the root that is equal to 36 plus uh, 18 square is 324 under root that is equal to 360 square root you can simplify it in second part they want us to find equation of straight line that is passing through a and b so your a point is minus 2 and minus 5 and your b point is 4 and 13 right <clears throat> now we know that equation of straight line is y equals to mx plus c now we need two things number one the gradient we know that formula for gradient is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 right that is basically rise over run you need to remember this formula it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 yes and now substitute these values to find slope that's going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so that is 4 minus minus 2 is plus so 13 and 5 is 18 divided by 6 that makes it 3 so slope of the line that we are looking for is given as 3 now equation of straight line is y is equal to mx plus c i have substituted m3 here now point is we need to find this c value you can substitute any value from original uh, points so let's put point b in it to find value c so y is 13 is equal to 3 times 4 plus c which will be equal to 13 is equal to 12 plus c 13 minus 12 is equal to c that is equal to 1 so my required equation is y is equal to 3x plus 1 y equals to 3x plus 1 right now we know that uh, slope of this line we just calculated is 3 another line is parallel to a b okay and passes through the point 0 and 5 now we know that if two lines are parallel they are having same slope so for a b we just calculated slope was equal to 3 right now this line l is passing through 0 and minus 5 but having parallel uh, is parallel to the line a b though it will be having same slope so m equals to 3 for this equation as well so write down the equation of this line so we write y equals to mx plus c what is m that is 3 here y is equal to 3x plus c so now we are going to substitute these points y is minus 5 is equal to 3 into 0 plus c so c value is minus 5 so my final answer is y is equal to 3x minus 5 that is a line that is parallel to ab and passing through 0 and 5 so you write y equals to 3x minus 5 right the equation of perpendicular bisector of ab now we know that coordinates of a and b are minus 2 minus 5 minus 2 minus 5 and b is the point 4 13 4 and 13 okay perpendicular bisector let's have a look what is a perpendicular bisector 
so if this is a line ab that is minus 2 minus 5 and 4 and 13 now we are looking for a line that is you know perpendicular to this line <coughs> ab and also is bisector of it that means it divides it into two halves in our previous part we just calculated slope of ab so slope of ab was equal to 3 okay now this line what we are looking for is perpendicular to the line ab that is perpendicular bisector so slope of this line is going to be negative 1 divided by 3 we know that slope of a perpendicular line is always negative reciprocal so if you are having slope 3 by 1 you're going to take negative reciprocal of it okay so m equals to minus 1 by 3 for this perpendicular line second thing we need a point through which line is going through so for that we need this midpoint here okay so midpoint of the point uh, of a b is going to be minus 2 plus 4 divided by 2 this is how we find midpoint okay x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 minus 5 plus 13 divided by 2 so midpoint is going to be it's 2 by 2 and this is 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 and 4 so 1 and 4 is the midpoint through this line is passing through and slope is equal to minus 1 by through minus 1 by 3 so equation of straight line is going to be y is equal to mx plus c minus 1 by 3x plus c now in order to find the value of c we are going to substitute coordinates of this point uh, c is 4 is equal to minus 1 by 3 x plus c so 4 plus 1 by 3 when we take this minus 1 by 3 on left hand side it will be added okay so it is 3 that is equal to 12 plus 1 is equal to c c value is 13 by 3 now equation of straight line is y is equal to mx plus 13 divided by 3 so that is your final answer for perpendicular bisector have a look once again for perpendicular bisector point was we needed points a and b okay minus 2 5 and 4 13 we needed a midpoint for those and we needed a negative reciprocal a perpendicular distance perpendicular slope sorry okay uh, for uh, slope it was a b was having slope 3 so slope of perpendicular would be minus 1 by 3 remember we always take negative reciprocal of this <clears throat> then for midpoint it's x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 so 13 minus 5 by 2 and uh, 4 minus 2 by 2 that's equal to 1 and 4 so slope is equal to minus 1 divided by 3 and y equals to mx plus c is equation of straight line we are going to substitute values of m and c so first we put m then you can take any point either a or b of your own choice for finding c so we are substituting coordinates of 4 and 13 just a minute i guess we made a mistake here so that is going to be oh no that's fine we're going to put this 1 and 4 in it okay that's the midpoint through it this line is passing through so y is 4 x is 1 we get c as 13 divided by 3 and y equals to mx plus c is the required line okay here is another question okay find the uh, a line joins a b with these coordinates write down the coordinates of midpoint of the line so formula for midpoint is simply x1 plus x2 by 2 so 3 plus 5 divided by 2 okay this is your x1 this is your x1 y1 this is your x2 and y2 so it's going to be x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 that is equal to 4 plus 8 divided by 2 so it's 8 by 2 and 12 by 2 so your midpoint is equal to 4 and 6 second part they want us to find distance we apply distance formula this is the distance formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right so that is the distance 
x2 minus x1 that is 5 minus 3 whole square plus y2 minus y1 that is equal to 8 minus 4 whole square under the root. The distance is going to be 2 square plus 4 square under root 4 plus 16 that is equal to under root 20 and you can simplify it to under root 5. 2 under root 5 is your distance between these two points. Done. Uh, equation of line AB. So these are the points 3, 4, 5, 8. 3, 4, 5, 8. Now we know that for equation of straight line we need gradient. So slope is going to be 8 minus 4 y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So slope is always y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 okay so here slope is going to be 8 minus 4 divided by 5 minus 3 that is equal to 4 divided by 2 that is equal to 2 now y is equal to mx plus c in order to find value of c you can substitute coordinates of any point so let's put 3 and 4 here plus c that makes 4 minus 6 it's 4 minus 6 is equal to c so negative 2 is equal to c right so required equation <coughs> is now y is equal to 2x minus 2 right <coughs> its slope is 2 a line perpendicular to a b okay so if points a b are Three, four, and five, eight, and it has gradient as two, right? A line that is perpendicular to AB, okay, passes through the origin and through the point six R. Find coordinates of R. Okay, suppose this is the line that is perpendicular to the AB. We know that if slope of line AB is two, slope of line that is perpendicular is negative one by two. Okay, you just need to remember this. That's going to be negative. 1 by 2 right and uh, now it's passing through origin that is 0 0 and 6 r so slope of 0 0 and 6 r is r minus 0 divided by 6 minus 0 and slope is given as minus 1 by 2 that is equal to r divided by 6 so value of r you cross multiplied r is equal to negative 3 so value of r for this question is equal to negative 3 I hope uh, it would help you uh, for more videos please do subscribe my channel uh, share it with your friends and I'll see you in my next video till then Allah face take care